How to Make Email Templates with Gmail, Beginner's Guide. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with creating your own amazing templates in Gmail. You can do this either with a application from the Chrome Web Store, so you can use a Chrome extension to do this, or you can use some of the default template options provided by Gmail. So let's jump right in. To do this, we're going to head on over into our Gmail mailbox. And once we're in our mailbox, we are going to click on compose on the top left. Now, what is the purpose of using a template? Because, all right, I have created a template, but I don't know how to use it. And it's really not something that I might have thought about beforehand. Well, templates can help you in ensuring that whenever you're sending out marketing emails or any other type of mail, that you don't have to retype everything over and over again. So as an example, if you have to send out a welcome email to all of the new members that have signed up for your newsletter or a welcome email to all of your new members for your club or society. Then, instead of having to manually type the email every time, you can save it as a template. This saves you a lot of time and can save you a lot of energy in the long run. So let's get started. Now, I have opened up my mailbox over here and I'm going to click on Compose on the top left. Once I click on Compose on the top left, I can click on these three dots on the bottom right and then I have this section called Templates. Over here, you're going to be able to see the option to save a draft as a template. And you can also delete templates that are not necessary for you any longer. So to create our template, we're just going to open this up in our full screen and we're going to start typing. So let's just say, for example, I want to send out a welcome to Dear Den. And this is the email that I want to type out. Hello, everyone or hello dot 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 or I can just leave a blank bracket over here and this allows me to later on add the name of the person whoever I'm sending it to without having to manually type up everything I can just type in the blank spaces and leave the rest as the template thanks for joining our team you will be contacted soon so let's just say that this is our email. Thanks for joining our team. And from here, what I can do is I can format it however I want. So I can add different font styles. I can choose the size of the text as well. So let's say I want to make this huge. I can make it huge over here. I can add italics. I can make it underlined. I can go on ahead and also select some of the different alignment options. Once you have selected your full formatting for your mail, you're going to click on these three dots on the bottom right. Once you click on these three dots on the bottom toolbar, you're going to click on templates. And after that, you're going to see a pop up. In this pop up, you're going to click on save draft as a template and this will save it as a new template. So you're going to click on save as a new template and you're going to name this template. So this might be my Durden welcome mail and I'm just going to save it as Durden welcome and then I'll just click on save. Once I've done that, this will save this as a draft. So if I have to send this to XYZ person, instead of having to type all this and format all this from scratch, just click on compose, click on these three dots, click on templates, and then select the name of the template that you want to use. And just like that, we have our template ready. Now, if there are templates that are no longer required by you, that are no longer relevant for your business, Simply head on over to the three dots at the bottom of the composition box. Click on templates and then click on delete template. Choose the name of the template that you want to delete. For example, I want to delete the dirt and welcome that we just created. I'll just click on this particular name, click on delete, and just like that, the template has now been removed. This helps you in ensuring that only the relevant mail templates are in your Gmail box. Now, we have an alternative way to create templates in Gmail. However, keep in mind that to some degree, you are compromising on the security of your mailbox because we're going to be using a third-party extension. So for some people, that is something that they cannot compromise on and maybe the data that you're dealing with or you're really concerned about privacy and you don't want to use a third-party application. For that purpose, I would recommend that you use the default option for creating templates. However, if you want to elevate your 
mailbox, if you want to elevate the emails that you're sending out to the next level, these extensions are pretty reliable and they have been around for quite some time. So you don't have to worry about the security that much and you can easily use them to create amazing and gorgeous marketing emails. For that, just head on over to the Chrome Web Store. Once you head on over to the Chrome Web Store, you're going to search for Gmail templates. And once you search for Gmail templates, you will see this application on top. This is the Gmail email templates by CloudHQ. This is one of the most popular email template tool out there, which allows you to add some of their amazing professional templates. They have a template gallery of over a thousand templates that are available for free. So click on add to Chrome and then click on add extension. This will add the extension to your Google Chrome. Once you do that, you're just going to open up your mailbox and you're going to see the option to connect your Gmail and Google Drive to Cloud HQ. So click on connect Gmail and this will show a new sign in box and a new tab where you're going to allow it access to your mailbox. So simply allow the access that you want to give Cloud HQ, and you will have to give a lot of access in terms of your mailbox. They will be able to read and write all of your emails. So make sure that it's going to be something that you're not too concerned about. Now, once you have done that, you will see a pop-up on the bottom right. You don't need to go through all of this. This is just their onboarding. And you will see a Cloud HQ icon on the top right. Now from here, all we have to do is click on Compose. And if I open this entire pop-up up, you will see on the bottom left, I have the option to insert a template. Click on this blue icon over here, and you can click on Free Templates. Now within that, you will have a drop-down menu. In this drop down menu, you have a lot of different selections available. So you have things such as your e cards, educational based emails, you have Cloud HQ apps, business emails, and you have over 1800 templates to choose from. You can choose from any niche or any type of goal that you might have. So if you want to browse something in the lane of marketing emails, you can find those. Let's say I want to send out welcome emails, so I will just search for welcome. And you can see actually there are even different niches of welcome email. So there is Thanksgiving welcomes, welcome coupons, as well as a new employee welcome, I can really pick out anything that I want. So pick out the email that you like. I think I'm going to go with this one and I'm just going to open this up and you will see the template has now been inserted. The subject is also added by default and to begin editing this, simply click on create email campaign or you can just edit the content from here. If you want to build a long-standing campaign, you can even do that with Cloud HQ. And their editor is really simple to use. It's a simple drag and drop editor. So from the top, we can see it has the Cloud HQ logo, and I'm gonna click on edit image over here. And if I want to remove this, I can add my own image instead. You can click on upload image over here to upload your own images instead of the default content that is present. So you can arrange your content in the same formatting to make sure that it looks pleasant to the eye, but still has its own flair and matches your brand aesthetic. Now over here, we have our happy Thanksgiving border. This is the entire picture. There's no text on top, but you can see these are some text fields. So I can select this and I can just select the text field and type out whatever I want. So welcome to Durden, like so. And I can type out the rest of my mail. Once you're satisfied with that, you can click on send, or even if you want to further save this as a template, you can do that as well. So just click on close editor, click on the three dots at the bottom, click on templates and save this as a template for later use. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.